OK, we're finally ready to build the Kalman filter. OK, so the Kalman filter is basically the analog of the linear quadratic regulator for estimation. It's the optimal full state estimator given some knowledge about the types of disturbances and types of measurement noise that I'm going to experience. OK, so in practice, we're going to assume uh, that WD is a Gaussian white noise process. So Gaussian um, white noise process with a variance, let's call it um, V. So uh, let's say its variance is VD. And this is going to be, uh, let's say, covariance. So this will be a square matrix of size n by n. Okay, so however many states I have, this will be, uh, yeah, for disturbance, it'll be an n by n matrix. And then let's say that uh, Wn is also Gaussian. So this is, the first one is my disturbance. The second one is my noise. And it also has some noise covariance, some Vn variance. And so basically, if I think that my process noise, the kicks that my system is going to experience, are larger or smaller than the noise that my measurement has, then I get to trust one or the other more than more. So remember, my Kalman filter is measuring u and y, and it has a model. It has a model of a, b, and c. But if it has really bad sensor noise, it can't trust y very much. So it has to rely on its model more. But if it has really, really big disturbances, if it could get kicked way off where it thinks it is, then it should trust its measurements y more. So th there's some reason to think that based on the ratio of these, uh, these, these variance matrices, if I have bigger disturbances than noise, then I should trust my measurements. And if I have bigger noise than disturbances, I should trust my model. Okay, and so there's this balance of how. Remember, we had um, we we found that we could essentially write um, the error of our prediction equals a minus Kalman filter c times error. Okay, so we could essentially make this error. We could make our estimate x hat converge arbitrarily quickly to x. Remember, error was just x minus x hat. We could make this thing converge arbitrarily quickly by choosing the Kalman filter gains to make this very stable, very negative eigenvalues. But again, just like in the LQR case, in real life, I'm constantly balancing how much noise I have on my measurements and how much disturbances I have on my system. So there will be a sweet spot for these eigenvalues too. Um, and in fact, they, max, they, they minimize a cost function j which is essentially the expectation value of x minus x hat. Um, it's a column vector, x minus x hat. And I'm pretty sure this is um, transpose times x minus x hat. And so this is a little bit more tricky to picture. But basically, if I had an ensemble of different uh, disturbances and noises sampled from these distributions, then I'd want to choose this Kalman filter gain to minimize the expected error between my state, my full state, and my estimate. Okay, And it doesn't look like it, but this can be written in a form that's almost identical to this LQR cost function. And so in fact, I can use the exact same linear algebra guts that I used to solve for this gain matrix, K regulator. I can use the same linear algebra to, to solve for this Kalman filter gains KF. And in particular, we solve something called an algebraic Riccati equation to find these gains. Again, it's order n cubed in the state dimension of x. But for moderately you know, sized systems, it's tractable, and we can do that. And then you can get these optimal Kalman filter gains for your full state estimator. So in MATLAB, it's pretty simple. I think it's something like kf equals lqe. So now remember, we used lqr for the quadratic regulator full state control. This is a linear quadratic estimator. 
So LQE is basically synonymous with Kalman filter. I do LQE of A, C, and then you know V, I forget if it's VD and then VN or what the order is, but you can look at the help file. But basically, these now serve the role of the Q and the R matrices in LQR for this, um, this Kalman filter design. Okay, so very, very similar. You can actually, a, a good exercise I would recommend you try, try to develop this Kalman filter gains using the LQR command. Use the fact that there's a duality between AB and AC and try to massage this so that you can actually use this LQR command to solve the algebraic Riccati equation to get this Kalman filter. Okay, so I'm not going to go as much into the analysis of this. I think what we should do is try it out on an example where we have a full state, but we're only measuring one or two variables and see if we can design a Kalman filter to estimate what the full system is actually doing. Okay, 